tree frog it's so deep the trial to survive Welcome. Uh, after after that intro played, it should go on to this episode, hopefully, and that episode will probably be copyright claim because it's the intro of this game. You know how it is. Yes, we are doing Metal Gear Solid 3 finally. I, I can't remember how long ago it was I did MGS 1 and 2. I think it was 2021, and it's 2023 now. So yeah. Now, a little backstory. I have actually played this game before. Um, I played this shortly after I finished too. However, I did not stream it because I wanted to see how it would run. This is an emulator for the if you don't know. This game has never been released to PC. I don't really have the consoles it has been released to. So I emulated it. Now when I uploaded this last time, it had some major emulation issues. From what I've heard now, it's a little bit better, but there'll still be some major issues in some scenes, especially the final boss. Um, but we're just gonna go through with it. It's fine. Now, I played through this game. I can show you. I can load this here. You can see the file. 16 hours. Operation Snake Eater completed. I've beaten this game before. So we're gonna start a new playthrough. Uh, for those of you who've never seen one of my playthroughs of a video game, one of my Let's Plays, yada yada yada, I, um, I'm not the best at video games, but I try to be alright. I try to learn try to listen to it. I try to watch as many cutscenes. I try to not speak too much during cutscenes unless uh, there's a quiet moment. And uh, yeah, we usually play games on the hardest difficulty unless the game is extremely punishing. I consider these games to be somewhat punishing, so we're going to play them on the intended normal difficulty. Um, yes, uh, because it's been about a year and a half since I last played this, I don't remember much other than I did today before uh, recording this. I did test to see how it run. I played through the Virtuous Mission, and I played up until when you get your weapons in Snake Eater. And that's about as far as I played, just to test stuff. Now, do I need to watch the briefing files? I can't remember. Is this... Jack, I've got some important... 
I think that plays in the game. I don't think I have to actually watch it here. I think that will actually play. I don't think it's like MGS1, uh, where you need to sit and watch 25 minutes of cutscenes before you boot the game up. Um, but yeah, we're gonna play new game. Now, I need to mention something before we start. My controller is a bit fucked. It's a bit scuffed. Um, I had to do some things. I do not have a PS3 controller, meaning I don't have press the sensitive buttons, so I've had to rebind some keys. Like, my square button is my L2, my circle button is my R2, and, you know, vice versa. Um, and because I kept accidentally stabbing people in the throat when grabbing them, because I have to be very careful with how hold I hit, I have literally capped how far I can press my L2 button so that I can no longer accidentally stab people. But that means that doing a CQC throws has become much harder. So if I'm really bad at CQC, I have an excuse. <laughs> I can also say that I'm bad, which is true. Now we're going to play a new game. Um, I had to go look up what these did because I forgot. Um, I'm not going to choose any of these three because it's like this one gives you a bunch of shit. This one makes you look stupid during the intro. This one gives you a little bit more stamina, I believe. Um, we're just going to do... I'm playing the MGS series for the first time. And I'm going to do normal difficulty. Here we go.